Hey everyone, Astro Nibble here. Alright, today I'm going to talk about a game that probably everyone has heard of. There's even channels, thanks to uh, Valerium's marketing schemes, uh, ha will promote this game, Raid Shadow Legends. Um, it's a game I started in 2019. This is not that account. I played for about a month back then. Spent $30, didn't touch it again, and after three years, Plarium told me they just delete accounts. But they keep the old account name reserved forever, so um, I couldn't use my old Astro Nerd Boy name. But on this new account, I'm spending no money. Um, I've been playing for 100 days in this game, and as a free-to-play player, no sponsorships here, I thought I would give my honest opinion on what I think about this game. Now, for those, for those of you who don't know, Raid Shadow Legends is a hero collector game. I love hero collector games. Uh, going back to the days of like Marvel Avengers Alliance, I played Marvel Strike Force, played uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, Fate Grand Order. So I've played all these things with the gotcha element. And so in the game, I've got Three legendaries, no mythicals, some rares. Uh, well, not rares, uh, uh, epics, though they are, yeah. Um, some, a uh, bunch of rares, and I've got stuff stashed away that I'm not going to touch for a long time because I just don't have the resources. Uh, and we'll talk more about that in a bit. But that aside, <clears throat> um, I thought I would go over the things I like in this game things I don't like, and just try to give an honest uh, opinion on everything. So we'll start, if you like hero collector games, you know, this isn't a bad hero collector game in terms of collecting heroes, uh, uh, collecting them, getting them raised up, powered up, uh, trying to uh, create teams and stuff. Basically, if you like hero collector games, yeah, there's just nothing bad about this. Um, it is a little unusual in the fact that when you start, you get a choice of four uh, starting heroes. And I picked uh, El Hain here. Um, Kale is the one that, if you're really wanting to be um, good, uh, he's the one that you would pick because he has poison debuffs. I chose her, um, and she's my what they call farming character. And in the game, the game doesn't tell you this. And when I played in 2019, I didn't know this. But you basically take your starting character and you try to get them to level 60, which is the cap, uh, as fast as possible. And then you try to get them uh, geared up and stuff. And then the whole purpose uh, is to go through the campaign, get to the brutal mode, and then farm stage 3 of the uh, uh, level 12. Not 12, uh, what do you call it? Well, whatever this number 12 is, the Brimstone Path. Um, and then you basically take characters uh, through here. And then you start farming them up to uh, uh, use as what they call food. So it's kind of weird. You get all these one and two star characters that you level up just for the purposes of then getting them to level three three stars and then you feed the three stars into your four stars and then you feed four stars into five stars and so on and all the way up until six now when it comes to what you use as food to sacrifice uh to level up one characters all the one and two stars are food uh, a good portion of the three stars are food but some uh like the starting characters you know, are pretty good. And so I use her to uh, get characters through uh, uh, these uh, farming missions uh, to level up the food just to feed um, so I can make a character that is better uh, become, you know, a higher rank. And, of course, the best of the best, you want to get them to uh, uh, five stars or six stars, correction, and level 60. So that's the whole purpose of the game. Um, you know, it's a grind, and it gets kind of tedious, and we'll talk more about that in a bit. But uh, there is one nice function about the game that 
you know, some games have, I think, I don't, I think, honestly, it, I say nice, and it is kind of nice, because I wish it's a feature that Fate Grand Order had, for example, um, but it's an autoplay, basically, uh, where you take to feed uh, characters, you just hit start, and then and, and it starts, and it does a thing on autoplay. But not only that, when you do the game, it also gives you a multi-battle feature, which is also quite nice. So you can just, uh, depending on how many multi-battles you have, you can run through until the characters get completely uh, done up, and you can set conditions and stuff to say, hey, continue if you lose, or stop if you lose, or you know, continue when all champions hit max level. Uh, what's kind of nice here is that when they hit max level, you you can uh, it'll it won't waste your multi battles. But I kind of like the fact that you can do this, and just you know, so you have your main character go through. Uh, she escorts basically everyone. Now she's not the best farmer, but she works. She was my starter, and all the starters work. Um, but. When you have this multi-battle function, you can just turn it on. It'll take 10, by the way, it'll take 10 turns to get two star characters up to level 20, which is their max. And then those characters will become food uh, once all the farming is done. Now, the reason you farm this, like, uh, this uh, third tier of this uh, campaign, stage three, is that when you sell stuff, Shields are worth more than the other pieces of uh, gear that you can get. And believe you me, silver, you can never have enough silver in this game. You can never have enough silver in this game. And we'll talk more about that in a bit. But you get your characters level up. You know, then you go over here. And then it's like, okay... We will, we want to get them to three star. So, Dunk, and then you sacrifice a couple. I need to pull some more characters, but, um, you need to raise them up. Now you got a three star, and then if I had, like, a three star at level 30, um, I could take that three star character, and, uh, if I have three other three stars, uh, I can raise them to... Um, four, and then with the four stars, like I do have some fours stacked up here. Got quite a lot of fours, actually. Wow. They're food. Um, not going to do it yet, but I could, for example, this character is one they recommend, you know, is of the rares, is pretty high. But I could sacrifice for these food characters and get her up to five stars uh once she gets to um yeah and she's at her max level for four stars and basically keep gearing her up so that's kind of the you know you spend a lot of time in the game doing that especially early game trying to get characters leveled up and there are other ways to get characters leveled up besides food you do get these uh uh brew characters not characters but brews um she's a uh, uh whatever this red thing is i don't even remember force user i think and then you can use brews and it gives experience so this is a way to instantaneously do it <clears throat> if you wanted to i could take her to max level but it would cost me some silver and of course the higher um the character is the more silver it will uh, take it gets ex exponentially more expensive as you go up. So there is <clears throat> that. And then, of course, you also have your gear, which, as you saw, we were collecting gear. Now, different gear comes from different parts of the game. Um, and I would highly, if you're going to play this game, I would highly recommend reading um, uh, resource guides on uh, what you need to do to uh, gear up characters because um, there's all kinds of things you can do with their masteries. Um, you have to uh, upgrade their skills, getting skill books or duplicate characters or whatever. Um, you have to collect artifacts. 
get certain gear sets. So like I have life steal on this guy and I've got perception. Um, so he can heal himself and basically sustain himself in, in a fight. Now, one of the things I like is there's tons to do in the game. There really is. Uh, there is, you've got the campaign. So you're, you're constantly farming in the campaign. And since I played, I have never been out of this 100% XP boost. So when I'm farming that one node, I'm getting double the XP that I would normally get. So that helps you raise up characters a lot faster. Um, and the lowest I've gotten is like four days. Um, but with different events that go on and different uh, login rewards or whatever, I tend to get more stuff. So there's there's tons to do. You've got the campaign. You've got all these different dungeons. Uh, these you know dungeons here are done to so you can collect these potions to uh, ascend characters that gives them more more stats. Um, you know you've got this dungeon here uh, so you can uh, get their mastery their skills up their masteries. I mean, uh, you know this dungeon is to get these kind of uh, gear pieces. This dungeon is to get accessories, rings, banners, and amulets. Uh, it's the only place you can get those. Uh, this dungeon is to get pieces. You can get some of these, like lifesteal and, and stuff from the campaign. But this is where you can get them at higher uh, rarities. Up uh, until, uh, I don't know. I guess you could get mythical. I don't know. But, you know, I haven't even gotten down to the max level here. But uh, it's pretty pretty tough uh, fight unless you're geared up for it. And again, more types. Um, you know, this is to ascend your equipment, and I think same thing over here. So sometimes you get some of this stuff uh, as rewards and events too. So I don't have a lot of this. And what is this? Oh, this is for the. This is to awaken your characters. So they find more and more ways to try to power them up without making them go beyond level 60. So it's like, oh, well, uh, you ascend your characters and then they get stat boost up until like you get six um, pink stars on top of the yellow stars. And then to get the red stars on top of the, the pink stars, then you have to awaken them and get these. And of course, it gets harder and harder to... Uh, get stuff to do uh, these things. This this fight is very tough. So um, I should do it more just to, just to get some more of this currency. Um, a lot of times I just don't have the time, and that's something I'll talk about more later in the negatives. Another thing I like about the game, and we were looking at uh, some of this before. Um, I mentioned I've got three legendaries. Two of these are welfare. If you're um, a Fate Grand Org uh, player, you know what the wealth term welfare characters are. I don't know what Rage Hell Legend uses, but basically this was a login reward character. She was a login reward character. <clears throat> so I got him for free. This guy is, is actually quite good. Um... Whales and Krakens aren't going to probably use him. You know, they might use him in certain areas. But even they have said, yeah, this is uh, a really good free-to-play uh, character. Especially one that's just given to you. She's, you know, eh, she's okay. I mean, if you don't have a healer or whatever, I mean, she's going to be really good uh, if you need a healer for something. Um, Whales and Krakens may not use her, but, you know, probably a lot of people would. Now, I do have this guy here. Um, I consider him pseudo welfare only because uh, when you go over here and you unlock uh, when you pull shards for to try to get different characters um, and you should only do this when it when there's a 2x event that's why I have no uh, ancient shards but um, the first time I opened up some shards I had two of these sacred shards and this is one where you can only get epics and legendary characters and I've heard that the first time you open one of these, they rig it so that your odds of getting a legendary are way higher than it would normally be. Um, 
don't know if that's true or not, but that's why I consider it a pseudo warfare because that's where he came from. But since then, nothing. You know, I've gotten no other legendary characters. Obviously, if I only have three, and two of them were free. And if I keep playing the game, if we look at the daily logins at the end of uh, six months in the game, I'll get this legendary. And you know what? I don't know anything about her. Let me see. So I was just looking. Okay, this she's another welfare. You know, play the game for six months and you'll get her. And you know this website, which I use to um, see what characters are good and which ones are not, uh, is rated four point five stars out of five. So I mean, that's a positive. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, to, for uh, if you're gonna be a free to play player, to give you. Uh, powerful uh, characters in the game for free you know that's a nice thing because there's a lot of characters that are not free uh to get uh, you basically have to be a well or a kraken um to get but anyway whoops there we go forgot i had that min uh, minimized but anyway so there's a positive you get some um pretty decent welfare characters it takes a while um, but on the sucky side, I'm not going to lie, the gotcha system is, as far as I'm concerned, is pretty much trash. And even when you have like a two X, uh, then that's the only time you should pull a character is when there's a two, uh, times chance to get an epic or legendary over a rare. Um, as even some of the big Krakens have said, yeah, it's not, it's not really a two times chance. So it's actually less. Um, but, um, it is what it is. So, but anyway, but as I've mentioned, this game is very much pay to win <laughs> and yes, it has a battle pass, it has a battle pass. And I think, well, it's going to tell me in a minute. So you get, you know, obviously like all battle passes, um, they like to throw it in your face. Oh, look what you would get if you would just pay us money, you little cheap bastard. And, you know, it's a lot of gear that you could definitely use a lot, uh, to craft um, this uh, gear over here, which I think is pretty decent gear. I don't think it's, it's, it's definitely not trashed here, but I think it's pretty decent gear. Um, yeah, heals uh, wear by 10% every turn. Blah, blah, blah. So it's probably pretty good. I don't, you know, I don't have a full set. But you do these daily challenges, which are mostly fairly easy to do. One of them is just um, uh, collecting all playtime rewards, which when you log in uh, for the day, there's, you know, as you're in the game up to two hours, uh, there's different reward tiers for, okay, you've been playing for five minutes today. Here's reward. You've been playing for 10 minutes. You've been playing for 30, 60, 90, whatever, up until like 120 minutes, I think. You get all seven of those, and you get to claim that. And the rest of these are usually, I haven't had too much of a problem with that. Now, these weekly challenges, and they like to throw this in your face too. Um, you know, I I'm obviously I'm getting these, but... I don't understand quite how this works because the currency you get here is the same as the ones you get for the daily rewards. I've already collected all this. So, and, and it's points for this. So I don't know, maybe it's to get you through the battle pass faster. So you don't have to do as much. I, I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. So you, you, you don't have to do these dailies every day. The dailies, is a slow slog and there's like one and a half. Um, no, that's how much it's three days, about three and a half days as I recorded this, uh, for the, this, uh, battle pass season to be done. So it may be just so you can blow through the battle pass rather quickly. I don't know. I'm, ne I'm never going to pay for it. But the reason I left this up here is like, this is my final reward and see what they do. Hey, for $20. I mean, you get to collect this free thing, but look at, all the stuff you could get if you just paid us some money, money dollars, for all these little digital pieces of art that represent something in the game. So, but I refuse, of course, to do that. 
I don't think the battle pass thing goes away. Yeah, it doesn't go away because they'll 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 still give you. So like, I will not have tonight. I will not have a new uh, set of challenges. I don't think because I've completed the battle pass. Um, I think it, it'll just stay up there to give me a chance if I change my mind to spend twenty dollars and get all that gear. So now I guess I should put this on the like. There, you know, all these daily stuff. The daily uh, rewards are pretty, uh, pretty good. I know I've collected most of them for the day, um, but they are uh, pretty good. Um, I, well, I say pretty good. They're actually, I mean, this is actually pretty chintzy. When you're first starting, they're pretty good, but you know, it gives you like ten gems a day, um, and then you've got your advanced quest. Now, these, when you're brand new, these are. You're not going to be able to do most of these. And even now at level 100, sometimes they'll throw in something that it's just impossible for me to do. Um, and then you've got these monthly tasks, which I find these, you know, I have this done. It's like I'm on day 10 into 30. I didn't even try to do these things hard. I just played the game normal. You know, farming characters will get you this easily. Um, the game's obsession with arena uh, uh pvp will get you this and then you've got the weekly uh task which again they're pretty easy see and then see i'm gonna get another um xp deal the week and i'll get a blue an ancient shard and then it'll reset and now then you know, it's like, so there's, there's like a, um, you know, some free energy here just to like ascend a character or, or whatever. Now this is another kind of a downside thing. I'm kind of skipping around my list here, but one of the things I don't like is you get, when you get rewards, they have different time periods. So, um, every day they give you a free, um, pack in the uh in the uh deal here it's basically a way to make you uh want to uh spend uh oh uh, hmm not seeing what i think i should be seeing oh well maybe i'm getting it wrong hold on give me a second to find it okay this has to be it they must have just removed stuff I think there's a tab missing or something or they've uh, they've re greatly reduced it. Um usually there's there's uh a whole bunch of these. It's a lot less now, but there'll be every day they'll put in a free reward thing and you'll come over here and it'll be uh, like I said there's usually just like 50 billion of these. This one has more, but this is not where it's at, I don't think. Yeah, I think it's usually in here. And they'll just have just tons of these uh, things that they're trying to sell you. But one will be free, and and you'll collect that every day. Anyway, but I digress. What I was getting at is, so, like, the rewards from that, um, every few days there's one that's got uh, energy, a full energy refill for 99 days. That's a positive, you know. I can save it for whenever. But sometimes... They'll give you one that's like only got like a two day uh, expiry or maybe a six day expiry. As you see here, these uh, uh, multi battle things, uh, when I got this from a promo code, it was six days. So I only have four days before I have to collect it or lose it. And that kind of sucks. You don't get enough multi battles in this game as it is. So. Um, and then some of the daily rewards and stuff when we were going through the uh, reward program uh, from Quest and stuff like this one right here. When I click, when I ascend a champion, so see right now I'm at 420 energy. So let's go ahead and ascend a champion real quick. And let's see. Do, 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 do. And yeah, we can do you. So we'll ascend a champion real quick. She gets her skills, blah, blah, blah. Go out. Hey, look, we got a reward at 420. Ta da! And it just in instantly went up here. You have no choice. You have to eat it immediately. And that kind of sucks. I don't like that. Um, and it's the same thing when I collected that XP earlier. 
it was one week and one day. Now it's one week and two days. So, but sometimes they'll put one out there uh, in 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 the uh, storage bin and uh, your inbox, I guess, and you can collect it whenever. So, but they'll have different uh, time periods and when you can collect it. I don't like that. I'd like everything to go in here, and you know they can get rid of all these bloody. See what I mean by they they love you do doing all this or. Uh, uh, player versus player trash you don't you get tons of these in my opinion um it's like I, I don't need any of them i don't want any of them but some people do and i understand that i'm just i hate i hate uh player versus player and they have three different kinds um i hated this in princess connect but you know they've got the traditional one where um yeah i can't i can't hardly i can't I can't defeat any of these people. This one, maybe. But what I've discovered is now that I'm in this gold uh, tier, is that there could be a team that's a lot weaker looking than me in terms of power. And I'll go in there and then suddenly I'm all dead. And you're like, wait, what happened? What just happened? So this guy probably can be defeat. But, um, you know, yeah, it's just I hate all this PvP stuff. But you need to do PvP not only because you have tons and tons of quests and challenges and uh, these missions, which all this stuff, there's tons to do in this game, like I was saying. Um, all these missions and stuff uh, will give you uh, stuff to do and free rewards and stuff, but a lot of them are based on uh, how much you're doing in PvP. Quest every day uh, uh, in the daily quest, you got to fight like... Uh, was it you got to do five battles in PvP? Um, there's a whole arena section. You've got uh, what is it? Yeah, you've got seven tiers of rewards uh, for PvP, and this is as high as I've gotten. Um, I'm trying to stay in uh, this one to get this uh, the gear two to get uh, our 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 gold tier to get uh, this one again. Uh, not again, but. Um, stay in gold tier again so I can get this reward, which is it, 100,000 silver is trash. This is what I want, is clearing out all these and getting this. But, like, this is going to take me forever. This is going to take me forever. And again, they keep pushing the PvP because in the traditional PvP, you keep raising these things and you only get this from these uh, currency <clears throat> to raise this in PvP, but this is the only way you can get more stats. And so, like right now, um, this is raised up to four out of ten. And oh, yeah, so it basically means all my characters with this magic affinity now have their accuracy boosted by 20. And you need to max this out because as you, this is how you're going to get your stats. And then for player versus player, they've made it even more so that no one wants to, very few people want to play player versus player. Only whales, krakens, and, and people who just like slapping each other with their chin pose um, enjoy that. Uh, the live action player versus player. Uh, where there's someone actually on the other side and you have to do battle and, and stuff. It, 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 I hate it all, but, you know, to, they don't force you to do it in the game as far as um, events and stuff, but they try to force it because it's like, oh, well, if you do these things, you'll get more bonuses for these different areas in the game. And it's, um, it's I, ha I hate it. I hate it so much. Then you have uh, the tag team, and the tag team one, they do have uh, um, quest items to make you do this, and I hate tag team because it's like, now then you need three player versus player teams, and it's basically just so you can go in here and buy stuff. I don't, I do the bare minimum in here, and basically it's just to get an ancient shard, which, by the way, since we still have that event going on, let's go ahead and summon this. What are you getting? Trash. Yeah. Actually, I'm pretty sure she's a trash food character. Um, so, so much for that 2x. Rate up is a lie, as they always say.
But anyway, as I was saying, there's there's always a ton of stuff to do in this game. And that makes it a massive time sink if you're going to make any kind of progress. But these events are also geared to try to get you to spend. Now, as a free-to-play player, I know there's some doofus who's um, been playing the game for years and he's free to play and so he's high level but you know he's done the slow grind and blah 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 and I think he's got a YouTube channel and that's where he makes his bread and butter and more power to him but like champion training even though I'm hardcore um, well I say hardcore but it's work is busy so sometimes what I'll do is I'll have my tablet uh, and I'll just hit play play you know uh, every like minute or so or every time i notice it or think about it especially if i'm on a call um just to try to keep things going uh but i would say that with two and a half days left the best i can probably do is probably here but there's an event going on for character for this new legendary characters that requires you to collect um these champions these three star champions and you you have to level them up. You have to, uh, and then um, craft a uh, a new character. I think it's over here. No, it's not. Let me find it. Yeah, it's in the fusion. So yeah, this is the event. So see, you got to collect one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Um, yeah, I can count. You got to collect sixteen of these suckers. You have to get them to to uh, four star. You collect them at three. You have to ascend them at four stars. Then you fuse them into this character. You have to get and you get to do four of these guys uh, or this girl. And then once you get four of her, then you can fuse it and get him. Now I don't know how good he'll be. I think there was voting done so that the community could decide what kind of skills and stuff he had. I haven't looked him up. Don't care because I'm never going to get him. In fact, all these events where they have this temporary fusion deal, um, I'm never going to get the character ever. It's just, it's just not possible. As a free-to-play player with limited time, it is not possible for me to do. Uh, like I was showing you, um, this is just an event. Now, I am in Classic Arena Takedown. I'm level 59. Now, I'm struggling to get any kind of wins. But when I was in an easier level, you know, I could be probably in the top 20. And I could probably collect all of these. So this is one that, under normal conditions, if I wasn't trying to get more uh, currency to get uh, uh, higher uh, b bonuses from the, uh, from the uh, Great Hall... Um, I, I would keep myself down at a lower level uh, just to get those these this loot. But like this artifact enhancement, only Krakens are doing this. I mean, because it because and that's another negative. This game, the the raising of uh, uh, you know, I'll show you right now. So we'll take a piece of gear. Uh, let's see. I like to try to get one that's got speed already. Let me find one. Okay, we use this because it's a legendary helmet. It's got a speed subset. So we'll try we'll go ahead and hit the old upgrade on this. Now I'm at the level where I can do instant upgrade. I don't have to do this painful um attempts over and over again. But early on, um it will try over and over and over again. Now notice my silver, we're at 4.2 million silver. Um, upgrading it takes progressively longer and longer and longer, but it also, uh, well, I mean more and more silver, but there's also uh, the uh, ability to fail and upgrade. So it's all RNG. So, Let's just, I don't feel like going through it, but let's just, just insta-upgrade it and notice how much silver it cost me. A ton. So what that means is, is that as it gets, when the first four levels are, are guaranteed. Um, level one to four, level four to level um, eight is, you know, pretty cheap, mostly guaranteed. 
and then the odds are dropped to get to level 12 and the 16 the odds are like incredibly low that you'll get a successful upgrade and it's and it's very expensive and this is basically how the developers um keep the silver market the the economy so that you don't have an abundance of silver just raising this <clears throat> one character this one one piece of gear that I did earlier at uh, 16 cost quite a lot of silver and it can it can run from anywhere from like 1.5 million silver to 3 million if you've got bad rng so yeah it's 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 i hate it but it's a way for them to artificially make it so you have to keep grinding 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 now that did give me what did it give me see one piece and i spent what about 1.5 close to 2 million silver um when i did it and it got me up one tier. And of course, these tiers keep getting larger and larger in terms of uh, how much you need to go into them to get them. So I will never have enough silver to do more. Because <clears throat> right now at 2 million, 2.69 million silver, I'd need to be up to three before I'd even try ranking up another piece of, of uh, gear. And it totally sucks. I hate that aspect of the game. But not only that, but like, say, you've got characters geared. Like, uh, I have this character over here. Let me see if I can find him real quick here. Okay. So I've got him geared the way a, a, a guide said, kind of gear him as far. Uh, I mean, you need uh, boots with a speed subset. I have almost none that have that. So um, that kind of sucks. So I just took a speed bonus for a set. But I want to re-gear him to get lifesteal on him. Um, so, But if I want to remove this, it's 50,000 silver. Remove this. 50,000 silver. 50. So it would be 300,000 to completely de-gear him. It's outrageously expensive. Now, once in a while, it seems like every couple weeks or so, uh, maybe once a month, maybe, I don't know how often it is, but they'll have like a three day period where you can remove uh gear for free. So I'm kind of stuck with him until I can get better gear on him. So I can use him in the uh, boss battle for the, our, uh, our clan. But yeah, so the, my point is all these things, I mean, uh, just playing the game as I do, I will collect a few if I'm lucky, how much time is left in this? Nah. I'll get I'll get this one and that's it. That's as far as I'll get. That's as far as I'll get. But people who are more advanced who aren't trying to level up characters and stuff, you know, they're gonna get more and, and of course whales and krakens are gonna get more. But where where am I gonna get, you know, the all these characters you need to collect in a in a character events to do that? I'm not. None of these things. You know, this one, the only reason I have um this many uh tiers no reason i'm ranked as number seven in this uh champion chase uh, i'm assuming they have multiple uh shards uh for people to be in uh randomly no reason i'm number seven is because i had 30 of the ancient shards and the 2x event that i opened up and got enough points to get this i'm at 1352 and there's a day and a half left there's I don't think opening up uh, the the uh, green shards will get me many more points. I don't even think I'll get to this level. I might, if I'm lucky, um, you know, I might still be number 10 or so if I'm, like, super lucky. I have done that. But, like, you know, because I'm trying to, I've got all this extra bonuses to raise up characters. You know, I don't really feel like spending a lot of energy in the dragon fight. And I'm not, I can't get to the maximum dragon fight to get maximum points like everyone else can. So, you know, all these events, unless I'm willing to whale out or something, not going to happen. You know, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get these characters. So the game is geared, all these events, it's all nice and stuff that they have all these events and tournaments. You know, they have all these missions, um, like I said, the quest. Oh, I got another one. Upgrade an artifact level 12. Yay. Um, it's nice that they have all this stuff. But, uh, to be honest, I mean, 
at the same time, it's all geared to try to get you to spend because you'll see all this stuff that you can't get and it's designed to uh, put in the frustration for you um, so that you'll want to spend. Now, for me, I'm not going to spend a penny in this game. I'm not going to. It's not going to do it at all. So, what's my verdict? Well, you know, if you don't care about any of this stuff, and that's kind of had has to be the attitude to have, uh, is not as you notice, uh, most of these things I'm not even you know remotely in. Uh, you know, I'm not even participating in this. Well, it hasn't even started, but I wouldn't even be able to participate in this. The only reason I've got anything in here at all is because you have certain quests on a daily basis that says, "Hey, you need to go into a dungeon and collect three uh, artifacts out of a dungeon." So, you know, I just go in there as a minimal requirement into the dragon den and and fight the dragon usually three to five times depending on RNG uh, and what kind of loot it drops. You know, Champion Chase, like I said, I was only this high because I just happened to have um, blue sh uh, ancient shards that I opened up to uh, because it was under the uh, 2x uh, bonus to get rare uh um epics and legendaries otherwise you know i would hardly have anything in here classic arena well i already talked about that so i mean it is what it is sorry about that <laughs> and then the events like i said too expensive you know champion training just you know grinding it out i'll get a few there's, but it's just not possible for me to grind it out enough to get to, uh, you know, where I will ever max this out, ever. You know, same thing here. I'm just never going to get enough to grind it out to max it out, ever. I just don't see how it's possible, even even if I'm playing this game in a year. But we'll see. I mean, I'm kind of curious just to see what I would think in a year and give a, a follow-up review. But I'll be honest, I'm not sure if I can go that long because um, there's just there's just a ton of stuff that you uh, have to do in this game. And, you know, even though the clan I'm in, which somehow I became the, the leader of, um, you know, you've got all these things that you got to do. And, you know, I haven't even finished doing them all for the day. So, but it is what it is. But anyway, that's, that's, that's kind of my thoughts. Would I play? Yeah, I'm going to keep playing as a free to play and 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 try not to care and try not to uh rage when I can't um be anything hardly in the arena. Um but there you have it. So, let me know your thoughts if you've ever played the game before, uh if you play the game now, um if you've thought about playing the game because you've seen uh Polarium's insane marketing which astonishes uh, the crap out of me. But I am curious to hear what you have to say. Uh, in the meantime, like, subscribe, and all that other stuff. And we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.